Yo, yo. So in today's video, we're gonna work on is back kicks, the technique of a back kick. Um, just ironing out any issues that you guys might have. So with back kicks and jumping back kicks. So if you were doing our academy stuff, it'd be about an orange belt level. So we're gonna work from there today. Um, also, thanks guys for sending in your videos. Um, it's good to see you all still training through this crazy coronavirus time. Well, let's get into it. So start a simple warm up for you guys today, but we'll move it on. So hands on the floor and we'll just squat run. So hands down, legs coming in and out. Boom, 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 boom. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and back down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Straight onto your back. So instead of our normal setups, we go elbow to knees and working more of the obliques on the side. So your right elbow will touch your left knee, left elbow touching your right knee. Just twisting, twisting, twist, twist, twist. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, back down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back up. Last time. Ten, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Okay, so legs. So we've done a bit of abs. Let's move you guys to get a squat down and just gonna front kick out. No real technique with it, just draw up, kick, straight down, draw up, kick. Dish. With a squat, try and keep your back straight so you're working more legs, not your lower back. So dip, kick, dip, kick. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cool. Last thing for a warm up, we'll do burpees. So lying flat on the floor, arms up, jump up, down, arms up, jump up. Stretch off, so leg up behind you, get your knees together like this, hips going forward slightly just so you're pulling on your quads, push, push your hips forward, foot up behind your bum, hold, just keep your balance, three, two, one, switch it up, knees touching, hips forwards, four, three, two, one, that same leg straight up in front, so just pull it underneath. Hold, 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 hold. Cool, three, two, switch. Keep that balance. Leg up, should feel it here. Three, two. Both down. Lean down, touch the floor, but you're gonna get one of your feet on the heel with your toes up, still keeping your hands down. Light little bounces is fine. Push this leg straight back. And then switch. So these toes up, heel on the floor, this leg straight back. Good, then both feet down, just touching down. So we out. Good. 
Little drop into your elbows. Down to your toes. Other side. Middle. Okay, so back kicks. So the most common thing we see in the class or hear in the class is that basically because the kick is behind them, that it's a back kick, but that's not the case. If your toes are up, you're basically turning and doing a front kick behind you. If your toes are to the side, you're basically turning and doing a side kick behind you. So for instance this, if I just turn in here, because it's behind me, it doesn't make it a front, uh, sorry, a back kick, it's a front kick, boom. If I'm this way, that's a side kick. You see my toes are facing you, heels back that way, that's just a side kick behind me. Okay, so we'll break down the kick. So an actual back kick should be here to guard, turn and look, back kick with my heel. So toes are down, heels up. Toes down, heels up, and back to guard. So we pick the knee up, kick, and back to guard in here. So the more you turn your body, the more it will turn into a side kick. The further you turn it, the more it turns into a front kick. So really I just want to look over the shoulder so that I can keep my hips facing forwards, everything facing forwards to make the back kick easier. Here, boom, boom. Okay, so we'll break it down. So the same with every kick, or most kicks, we need a chamber to start with. So a chamber for a front kick is here, chamber for a round kick or a turn kick is here, chamber for a side kick is here. So exactly the same with a back kick, we need to bring the knee up, then work the kick, the knee up, and bring it back down. Obviously if you're sparring, you just want to be fast with the kick, you lose sometimes a little bit of the technique, but with your line work or grading work, we need to keep the technique, because that might be what they're picking up on for your grade. So to start with, guard and chamber here. Okay, so I can chamber up to the side, I can chamber up, just somewhere, chamber here. Then you're firing out the kick, remember heels up, and toes are down, and keep your balance. To start with, you don't need to look at the target just to practice it, you could face the opposite way just to keep your balance. So heel, toes down, that is a back kick. Kicking with my heel look, toes down, that's part two. Part three, you bring it back in, and four, you'd go back to guard. Okay, so break it right down. Knee, kick with the heel up, and your toes down, keeping your balance. Three, three, and four back down. So one, two, push your kick out with your heel, toes down, heels up. Three, and four, back to guard. So when you start looking, as I said, it will start to try and turn the kick into a side kick. But you've just got to turn your head and try and maintain heel up and toes down. Kicking with the heel is the hardest part of the foot, so that's what's going to cause damage. Kicking with the toes, <coughs> in this kick is not going to be half as effective. Okay, so chamber and look, look at the target, kick with the heel still, back out and back to guard. Okay, <coughs> so four parts. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. That's just speed the kick up as if we were throwing it normally for your grade. Up, kick, and back to guard. Up, kick, and back to guard. To create more power, you can torque your body into the kick. So I can come up here, as I throw the kick, I can twist my body to make the kick more powerful and sharper, but I can still look at the target. So up, twist, and back to guard. So I can still spot where I want the kick to be. Up, kick, and back to guard. Here, up, kick, and back to guard. jumping back kicks and two different versions of it. So with a back kick or a jumping back kick, we still want to maintain, if we can, that technique. So remember, knee up, kick out, knee up, and then landing back down again. So with the two that we're going to do, we're going to hop off one leg and fire a back kick out behind us, making it into a jumping back kick, and then we're going to work on one where both feet come up together, kicking out and landing back down. So the only thing that's a little bit more difficult, I would say, is to maintain heels up and toes down with the kick but just try as best you can to get that really driving your heel in because that's where the 
power is, that's what the hardest part of your foot is, rather than kicking with the toes or the blade of your foot. So try and maintain knee, kick, knee back down, and then both feet off the floor at the same time, making it into a jumping back kick. Okay, so I'll demonstrate the first one that we're gonna do. So I'll face on this way. Okay, so with some, I showed my head facing that way, just to give you more technique with heels up and toes down, because it's so much easier. So that's a good way to start on the kicks. Face that way, kick out behind you rather than turning. Once you get it, you can start turning. So if you break the kick down, you can see that really I'm just hopping off the front leg. I'm chambering with the back, hopping off the front, making it into a jumping back kick. Much easier version. Still a jumping back kick. So breaking it down, knee comes up and then you hop. So you go knee, hop. After you hop, you fire the back kick out and land if you can in your orthodox or southpaw stance, whichever leg you are working on. Okay, so to start with, we'll face the wall. Kick behind you, heels up, toes down. So knee up and hop off this front leg. Knee up and hop off the front leg. Knee up and hop off the front leg. After that, we'll fire the back kick out. Don't really worry about the technique of the kick or the chamber on the way back down, it's just work on knee up, kicking out. So knee up, kick out. Knee up, kick out. Remember, looking away to keep the hips and shoulders facing that way to make the heel up, toes down a little bit easier. So knee up, jump. Get this front foot off the floor a little bit more now. Up. Up. Okay, so after the kick, obviously we want to try and pull the knee back and land in a good stance rather than off balance. So let's go. Knee up, kick, knee back and put it back down. So knee and hop at the same time. Kick, back to guard. Nice stance. And then the last thing to really put on it is to look and spot the target. Obviously we might miss if we're not looking. So it is going to slightly turn the body a little bit, which is going to create more of a side kick, but try and force the toes down a little bit with it. So knee up, hop and look. Knee up, hop and look, here. Ooh. So I'm spotting the target, here. Then fire the kick out, leg back in and plant it back down. So here, kick, make sure we're looking. Knee up, look, kick and back to guard. Cool, so I know we're rushing for it, but you guys can just pause it and keep breaking it down. Knee up, hop, leg out, chamber, back to guard. When you're ready, start spotting the target. Okay, and then the second jumping back kick that we're gonna go through is just to take both feet off the floor and fire the kick out behind us. So just to get yourself into it, we need to jump on the spot. So left foot forward, right leg back, whichever way you guys wanna do it. I'm jumping up, innit? Jumping up, we'll set up the jumping back kick because we're just going to fire it off that. So jumping up, the higher you jump, the higher the kick really. The higher you jump, the higher you kick. Boom. And this way, drop, boom, drop, boom, drop, boom. Really with this kick, we want to try and maintain that technique that we had on the last one. Knee kick, knee back down. Knee kick, knee back down. You can do it so that you're facing the other way, which will try and turn the hips and shoulders and create heels up, toes down. Then when you're ready, you can start looking to a little bit more advanced. So in a nice stance, I'll go through it, and then we'll try and break it back down. So don't worry about on this one, tucking the front leg in, making it look so sharp. Just make sure both feet are coming off the floor. Okay, so if I'm facing that way here, I'm just gonna jump, kick, jump, kick. When I'm looking, I'm just gonna start turning my shoulder over the kick. Back to guard. Okay, so the difference with the first one and this one is the first one we were chambering and hopping through the kick. This one we're jumping and kicking all as one. So the first one we jumped and hopped. This one we're just jumping and kicking straight back out. Okay, so make sure you're driving through your knees to get some pop on the jump. Then knee up, kick, knee up, and back down where it was. Knee, kick, knee, down. Face the wall to start with, leg out behind you, the heels up, toes down a little bit more.
Then when you're ready, just have that little look over your shoulder and spot the target. So do two or three facing the wall. So jump and kick. Kick. Toes down. Kick. Toes down. Bring your knee back in. Go on, these last few, we'll look at the target. Spot the target. So look in. Knee up, kick, look. One more. Once you start getting it, you can start playing with tucking the front leg in. So as you jump, this front leg will be coming in just to tidy up that kick a little bit more. 